Hello guys, welcome to our page. I hope you already liked, subscribe and shared our page. If you haven't done that, please like, subscribe and share our page and press the bell icon so you are going to get the updates in the future. And if you haven't watched the previous 9 videos of this exercise 8.2, you can access these videos from the links which are given in the description, you can access from that also. Okay, so today we are going to start the next and last example of the exercise 8.2 and after this we are going to start the next exercise which is obviously exercise 8.3. Okay, now we will see the example number 10. It is like this, I purchased, that means not uh, I, the exam is, example is given like that. So, I am not purchasing that, okay, it is clear that. So, I will clear that. So, you are going to think that I had purchased that, okay. I purchased a hair dryer at or for RS 5400 including 8% of VAT. I just told you that or previously I told you that there will be the examples related to the VAT also. We had considered the example of sales tax. Now it is related to the VAT. VAT means value added tax which is 8% and including that VAT the purchased hair dryer is for rupees 5400 so find the price before vat was added find the price before that vat is added that means here you have to find out the marked price and on that you have to find out the 8% of vat okay so here the price including the vat which is rupees 5400 and suppose I will consider a regular amount, that means small amount, if I consider 8% of VAT means price without VAT is RS100. And then when I am going to add that 8% of VAT in that RS100, then the including VAT, that price is going to be rupees 108, that means 108. I have to add that tax, okay. So, when price including VAT is RS108, then original price is going to be 100. Original price is going to be 100. So, therefore, when price including VAT is 5400, when price including VAT is 5400, then original price is going to be, original price can be calculated for 5400 like this, 100 divided by 108 into 5400 so it is like that 100 is a cp and 108 is a sp okay and you have to find out the original sp whatever be the sp is there sorry original cp whatever be the cp is there so that formula we are using like cp upon sp into that total price okay now, here uh, you can solve it, that means uh, you can divide these numbers uh, and uh, when we are going to divide these numbers, so you can easily divide it, I think uh, it is divisible by uh, 4 also yeah, or not, yes it is divisible by 4, 4 to the 8, 2 is remainder, so 28, 4 7 the 28, then uh, 4 1 the 4, 1 is a remainder 14, 4, 3 is a 12, I think it is not divisible by 4 because 20, yes it is divisible, uh, the remainder is 2, so 20, so 4, 5 is a 20 and that 0 is a, as it is, so 1, 3, 5, 0 upon 27, I think uh, 135, that means 1, 3, 5, 0 is divisible by 27. Uh, correct or not, I think 27 5 is a 135 and that 0 will be as it is. So, therefore, it is 50 and 50 into 100 that is going to be 5000. So, therefore, the original price was 5000 before adding the VAT of 8 percent and after adding that VAT of 8 percent, you are getting the original uh, sorry SP which is 5004. So, thus the price of the hair dryer before addition of VAT is going to be RS5000 and after adding the VAT it is going to be 5400. 
so in this way you can solve the examples for sales tax as well as uh, VAT or any other profit percent loss percent increase decrease percent these types of examples you are able to solve by using the formulas which we, we are going to use for profit and loss which we had already used in the previous year also so i hope you understand all the examples still if you haven't watched the all videos of this exercise 8.2 you can access all these videos from the links which are given in the description and please i request you that if you are new to our page you can like subscribe and share our page and also press the bell icon so you are going to get the updates in the future because we are going to start the next exercise 8.3 in the next lecture so again thanks for watching the video have a nice day